Hey, Pastor Stephen here. I have been spending the day uh, climbing down from the Mount of Olives, uh, down into the Kidron Valley, and then heading back up into Jerusalem. And this would have been the path that Jesus and the disciples took as they were camping out on the Mount of Olives and would coming into Jerusalem uh, during the festival. Uh, so behind me you can see uh, a little bit up to uh, the Mount of Olives and then as I turn down here you can see the pathway down into uh, the Kidron Valley and then ultimately I'm going to scoot up here you can see how it goes back up into the Temple Mount. So uh, this has been a really cool day for me in being able to trace the footsteps of Jesus and the disciples as they would have journeyed to Jerusalem from the Mount of Olives. By the way, one of the surprises for me is that uh, there are a lot of churches that have been built along the way. So we've stopped probably about a half a dozen churches along the way to commemorate uh, different uh, spots. The Garden of Gethsemane where Jesus prayed, uh, the spot where Jesus wept over Jerusalem. Uh, so it's been, a, it's been a, a really moving and great pilgrimage day for me today. Just to give you some perspective, we started up in the hills there, went down into the valley below, we climbed back up, and then if you can look over my uh, shoulders here, um, what you can see is the steps that Jesus and the disciples would have walked into to get up to the Temple Mount. There's three arches, if you can see that. Um, that's, they're now bricked closed, but at the time, that's how uh, Jews entered into the Temple Mount, and then they took a separate exit off the Temple Mount. So this is the path that Jesus and the disciples would have walked.